What is going on, everybody? Dan Unfiltered checking out Biohazard Tales from the. I almost said Tales from the Hood. Tales from the Hard Side. Well, technically, it might mean the same fucking thing. So I might not be wrong. Tales from the Hard Side. Basically, Tales from the Hood. Hit like, subscribe. This comes from Matt. Appreciate your homie. If you guys have any requests, hit me up. All right. Oh shit, oh shit. When we look at the situation today, I think the main concern that I have is the attitudes that are created among many of our younger people. In which they tend to gratify. Okay. You call yourself when you troll to the night as a man of dark clothes came into your sight. What? So th this is gonna be like metal rap? And you can tell just by the video and the overall the man had a huge nipple ring. This is clear in bleach blonde hair. Clearly, this is from the either very early 90s or mid to late 80s. You know, there's a window of time where this, their looks were normal. <laughs> oh shit, we're about to get rap metal? Even him, like, <laughs> there was a time, a very small window of humanity's time since being on this planet, where these looks, these haircuts, were normal. Time to be alive.
Say social pressure were too strung out. Their lead guitarist, absolute maniac, this entire music video. Like, I don't think he stopped spinning. The only times he, he, he you no know, correction, he did. The only times he stopped spinning was to spit, and he did that multiple times. Then he would continue spinning. Or to just randomly, one-man mosh pit, dive into his buddy walking down the street. Always had friends like that growing up too. Those guys are great. Maniacs. But a lot of fun. Maniacs. But fun. <laughs> what is this? this? Is that bullshit I'm talking about with YouTube, man? They their algorithm is absolute bullshit. After this song, it's its recommendations is Ed Sheeran, an acoustic song. Ed Sheeran. After after this, bio, Biohazard Tales from the Hard Side, you think the next step in my musical path of the day is about to be Ed Sheeran Acoustic. And they wonder why I, I never get alerts from YouTube when like some a new band drops a, a brand new song. I, I rarely ever know unless someone tells me. YouTube damn sure doesn't because it, it does this. Ed Sheeran has one good song, though. That, uh, I See Fire, pretty fucking good. It's like the theme to one of the Hobbit movies. It's pretty fucking good. That's about it. I think it stops there. <laughs> Man, this was, this dripped of that, of a certain, again, time in life. The video, the sound of the song, the fact that we had, like, even some rap in there, like a good bit of it. It was kind of like a, a heavier, angrier Beastie Boys. Which, they have to be the same era. This has to be the same time period that Beastie Boys existed. Yes, 100%. You know, there's, there's the Vanilla Ice era, and then there's like a Beastie Boys, Vanilla disappears, Beastie Boys kind of take that mantle, Biohazard has to be right in that area. It just screams it. It screams that area. Hit like. What a time. I just wonder, like, when we when we go in twenty years, will the music that came out now will we look back and be like get the same like vibe of nostalgia? I don't think so. I don't think so. That's a goddamn shame. You are still here. Matt, appreciate you, homie. Then you are a real one. Fucking maniac. Kept spinning. Spinning and spitting. Both. Kept doing both. <laughs>